There it stands. Immortality across the battlefield. 1,500 soldiers from the Empire look to descend upon my kingdom. Well, this is where we send them packing. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome uh, back to the uh, channel and welcome uh, back to our 100 mod Let's Play where we have over 100 mods currently running in this campaign. This is like part 30, 31, 32. I actually don't know at this point. We are just pounding away looking to try and take as much land and just formulate a very nice kingdom, which I think we've done a pretty good job of. We're actually allied with the Northern and the Valandian empires and we have a large portion of Azerite land. And I think in this this episode we're gonna smash this army which is heading towards our city right here if we can get into a siege battle that would be pretty fun but if it comes to it i, I will meet them on the field if they're going to uh, attempt to take it i'm hoping they'll just siege us here though and we can have a very cool siege battle to kick off the episode which it looks like is exactly what they are going to do so yeah we'll definitely join the defenders and the balance of power bar isn't actually that out of our favor which is good uh yeah that's very very nice but yeah but let's play we're gonna basically be looking to uh yeah just take as much empire land i guess this episode as we can um and hopefully that will allow us to yeah just kind of strengthen our formations and then we need to definitely head out and try and convince some other lords to join us because we have nine million gold we have like maximum level charm as well yeah we have 330 charm at this point so we're in a very good situation there oh being overburned is actually not bad but also increasing my endurance attribute by one would also be good uh, actually, no, let's take that. Speed is everything in the game. Speed is everything. One thing that actually always annoyed me about defensive sieges is like, why am I not able to command what type of equipment we build? Like, I should be able to like have the ability to, uh, yeah, to build myself some juicy catapults or trebuchets on the defensive side. Uh, that would be really cool. And I think Tail World should definitely implement a system like that. It also seems like they are planning to really hit me hard here. They are building equipment, siege towers, um, and I believe Blisters aren't going to be that good. Yeah, annoyingly, we, we don't have any option to, to switch this out for a catapult because catapults will be able to take these down a lot quicker. And after all of that, they decide just to abandon the siege as well. Like, why? I mean, we'll leave and I, I guess we'll try and fight them in the field. Like, I'm down. If they, want, if they want to scrap, I am down. I might actually fill up my entire army, though, from a bit of the garrison here before we do... Uh, I, actually, I can't even do that, right? Because it's not my settlement. Uh, so I can't even take some of the garrison. Yeah, you actually can't. Okay, that's fine. So let's maybe just grab all of our prisoners. We have a, a handful to grab some manslayers and Valandian veteran longswords as well. Pretty good. Oh, and we also actually have an upgrade. We're, I mean, we're about to fight three times our size. It's probably a good idea to grab all of that. Again, I'm not going to, uh, to harass that. And let's just, yeah, chase them. If they want to fight, it looks like they're actually maybe starving. So what's the actual unit composition? They have just mainly infantry and a bit of cavalry, which is good because we have barely any cavalry. Oh, I wonder, actually, I wonder if the the town, because it was, or the city was an NPC city, maybe it paid these guys off to leave, uh, which is a shame if they did do that because I would have I fought to the last drop of blood and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Don't you worry. Wow, look at how many lords they have here. That's insane. So many scattered across. Oh, uh, well, let's do this. I mean, as you can see, we are outnumbered heavily, but I think this is going to be a battle that we can clean up the Empire forces. Ah, uh, scratch that. Unfortunately, it does not look like this army is, uh, yeah, able to fight me. I've tried to fight it, and uh, annoyingly, it just crashes the game every single time I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them kind of siege that, let them initiate that battle, and I'm going to head off and try and fight something else to kind of maybe reset that. Oh, there's a nice 51-man stack here that I'm going to load into. And then when they do set uh, the assault, I'm going to then reinforce and try We're and hold them off. Fight. Okay, it actually looks like the Imperial Army has just left us, so we're just gonna... Whoa, what the hell is happening here? Yeah, some things are, are starting, I think, to go a bit awry uh, with this campaign, uh, which is understandable. When we're like 60, 70 hours uh, in, it makes sense that things would uh, start causing this many issues. Um, hopefully, we can get through it, though. Hopefully, there's not too many, like, game-ending problems. But yeah, let, let's head back. The army seemingly went back into their friendly lands, whether it's to siege for landy or do whatever. So we're going to take that to our advantage, and we're going to push on elsewhere, try and capture some of these smaller armies, and then start taking some of the settlements. We have to make sure we reclaim back our other settlements. And also, have there so many lords here as well? I mean, we'll take it, we'll take it. Surrender or die. You 
hurt me. Bye, door yield. Okay, let's do this. A bad boy, then. So let's set up our infantry. It's actually cool. We're fighting in a village as well. That should really nullify. Uh, I was going to say nullify their uh, cavalry, but they really don't actually even have much. Let's just go two lines inside of the... Uh, we'll go shield wall as well. Let's go two lines inside the village. We'll hold both of these passes. Our archers can just go here and here. Uh, are they going to... They're probably not actually going to come at me, are they? No. Okay, cool. And that's fine as well. We can get our infantry like set up like here. And we're going to have a nice little flanking force set up here. Um, and our archers can just push their way up. And then we can maybe just kind of like uh, assault them from down the hill. Let's, let's try that. Okay, our lines are now in position. A few volleys are being pushed off now from the arrow fire. So let's continue to push our own units up. Get our crossbows in position, or they're going to charge me straight away. Uh, let's get our cavalry up here as well. Our missiles should be in enough of a position. We also do have a handful of uh, weaker units as well. But we're kind of starting to try and level up a little bit. So um, I'm hoping that they'll at least survive the battle. Also, look at this new mace we picked up. It does so much damage to heavily armored targets. I'm actually curious to, to see if we'd actually one hit like an Imperial Legionary. We're doing 300 damage, uh, 400 damage there. We're, we're smashing through multiple people with this weapon. It's pretty gnarly obviously doesn't do as much damage to say the lighter targets which is fine uh, i say that actually we did just do 300 damage to our recruit so that's actually not too bad let's grab the other infantry now tell them to start being a bit more aggressive uh, and we can break shield wall there their lines aren't gonna aren't gonna do anything really i just wanted to fight a quick battle oh yeah look at our new like dothraki sword as well let's see how much damage this does as we wrap around even the horse archers get some good uh get some good damage as well okay 60 damage isn't bad let's come around here with a bit of speed 113 that's not bad that's not bad my bodyguard is going for another strike okay not so much when we hit them on the side but if we get like the the curve of the blade it does do a nice amount and there we go they're, they're, the ai is already running for their lives yeah this blade isn't actually doing as much as i would like i imagine it doesn't do much yeah barely any to armor compare that to to this weapon a side hit uh, did 40 damage which is pretty incredible so a proper non-handle hit would probably do something along the lines of like 400 damage and there we go the ai has fled for its life now looking to try and fight another day but i don't think many of them are going to escape yet i mean there's going to be an absolute ton of prisoners here as well and also troops okay any good yeah like all 30 of them uh landian surfs leveled up and i want to get a bunch of landian swords and i want to grab a, a couple more infantry in the army is there anyone good here yeah there's a bunch of landian uh halberds a few longbowmen and long swords a couple veteran archers a couple heavy infantry a couple veteran yeah this is actually a really nice army to pick up we'll take the halberd and that's probably about it yeah that's about it okay we'll take our upgrades as well the nice thing is as well we'll just spend another 19,000 experience there by not taking the equipment because hey we got 10 million and then we'll be able to upgrade all of them soldiers all over again yeah, look at that another 26 upgrades from all of that not as many of these Valandian spears can level up but that's fine they'll go hopefully into the swordsman and everybody else can upgrade as well cool so smashing the army is nice it doesn't look like any of our lands are under pressure right now so let's go and take back this castle it's been a little while uh um, since we we lost this and then yeah then i'm just gonna go deep into the enemy territory i'm gonna go for all their major cities um and if their armies want to fight me hopefully it doesn't crash the game i was unfortunately really looking forward to that 1500 man battle but yeah sometimes the game just says no and there's nothing you can do about it yeah, i think we're gonna go with just one siege tower we don't really have to fight these ones i think yeah we lost three men in that battle oh we also saved a bunch of our lords as well hell yeah okay that's gonna help boost relations and there are more soldiers here. But I, I literally just took on a bunch of my prisoners. I guess we can replace the three men uh, that we lost in that battle. Let's take the Ravenger as well. He's a pretty high tier unit. A two-handed Morningstar. Is this slightly better? Uh, slightly less blunt damage and it's shorter, which isn't good. However, it swings faster. I think I currently like what I have. Oh, we also have Heli Pe Pelum darts as well. Yeah, I'll take some darts to throw. Why not? We'll be a bit more Roman. And yeah, this blade sucks. Do we have a better sword? Uh, now let's take a look on our side. Yeah, we have our two-handed sword, which I guess we don't really need. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. And then I guess maybe look for another sword to pick up. Um, we'll show mercy to the sediment as well, and, and whoever had it beforehand can grab it back. Okay, cool. Hopefully none of these lords siege it. And I, I want to keep on going, you know. I want to keep on putting the pressure on the enemy. Um, if we can help out these smugglers here, that would be amazing. Um, what about our food? Oh, are we starving? Oh, okay, we're starving. We're starving. Uh, let's head back and grab some food quickly. 
annoyingly they're going to just siege us to settlement again. Okay, actually, I mean, luckily, they've all come in here. So we can actually catch them one by one right here. Uh, surrender or die, you heard me. And uh, we can actually, yeah, kill all four of these armies who are sieging me separately, but for some reason not involved in this big battle. Oh, no, boom, there they are. Oh, it's actually close as well. Oh, and Garrus is now here as well. Obviously, the leader of the Western Empire. Well, it looks like we have to fight another battle. Annoyingly, though, my army is starving and also completely dehydrated. So we've kind of lost those two factors in this battle, which, of course, does suck because my morale is going to be in the gutter uh, and it is pouring down with rain. I think I'm just going to go with one big line here. This is a battle I can't be too cocky about, so we're just going to play it smart. Um, I'm going to combine up all my missiles as well. And as I said, yeah, just kind of just play it very safe. Play it like how how Bannerlord uh, is normally played. Hey, the archers are hammering the enemy position now. The crossbows, the bowmen, they're all going to be volleying out as best as they can. Trying to put down a bit of evasive fire. Our best, I think, scenario is to push forward with our infantry, though. Uh, the arrows are going to kind of act as a nice little support ground. A lot of them are falling short, though, as well. I don't think too many of the missiles are really hitting. Do we have to, like, change up and just go, like, full infantry and forego archers? I honestly don't think that would be the worst thing in the world to do. But, yeah, let's get close. Let's get into, like, their firing range, like, here. They're probably going to charge me around there. Yeah, here they come. So just kind of chill here and form a shield wall as well. They'll be throwing in their javelins, which will be fine. Um, let's throw up our missiles as well. I and mean, the thing is, we can also utilize our missiles as kind of a completely separate force and utilize them as well. Uh, we also have our bow that we can do. Let's also tell our infantry to engage the enemy, so they'll be a little bit more aggressive here. They'll attempt to uh, take some ground away from the AI. Oh, we can pull out our maze here. Try and take this guy out. So we're actually in our siege attire because we're hitting some people who were uh, part of a siege. Remember as well, we do have to be careful because if we die, the campaign is over. They are the stakes that I have added to the campaign now. So we do have to be a little bit cautious about being really aggressive in these battles and playing on dribble speed and not paying attention. <laughs> but I also still want to make sure that we get kills. And then we are just playing super, like, you know, super scared. Because that's no fun to watch whatsoever. Luckily, a lot of the arrows do barely any damage to my armor. And we're wrapping up this kind of nicely, I would say. I guess really one of the only things that can kill me are like maces and like a heavy cavalry charge. That would be what would do me in in this, like out of nowhere. Because as long as I, you know, as long as I don't get like take a ton of damage in one go, then I'm actually pretty safe. And I can kind of play at my own uh, at my own leisure. Because I can always just fall back if I take a bit too much damage and my, my army can kind of do its thing. Uh, our infantry can probably charge now to clear up the, the remnants of this army. I don't know why the Vance Power Bar was so against me. But it's better this way than, than minus losing men. If we're going around with our 400 men, then it makes sense that we should be, yeah, very safe in that. Okay, yeah, something like this guy's weapon is a little bit scary. So I'm just going to play passive here. Because, yeah, he's a two-handed mace, and that will do damage to me. Blades and axes generally will just kind of uh, bounce off of me. Again, these, like, crappy arrows that the peasants are using, that's not going to do anything. A crossbow bolt will penetrate my armor. But a lot of this other stuff, because of RBM, just bounces off and isn't really an issue. And there you go. The enemy army is fleeing, and that should hopefully save our settlement. But also, as well, I'm pretty sure with RBM, the, the further the range, the less damage the arrow does as well. That's so again something interesting with RBM to keep in into in, in your mind when you're seeing me take damages. It also depends on how close you are to the enemy units. But of course, a easy battle. Lost eight men. Eight brave men did die. And don't worry, their 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 families will be compensated with land and a farm in the Dong Empire. Nice. So they're cleared up now. Uh, we are still in desperate need of food and water. I actually had not... I swear we got so much water from somewhere. I actually can't remember. They siege me again immediately. Uh, sometimes, Banner Lord, it's so annoying. Uh, that's why, like, mods like Improved Garrison are really, really good. Because they kind of nullify uh, these issues. I can't imagine you guys have much water. 81 barrels. I, I swear I had, like, thousands of barrels of water stashed somewhere. I just can't remember where where it was i know i have lots of food stashed here which we're gonna we're gonna grab really quickly um wait where did all my food go i swear we had like in limited counts here i felt like the game has deleted all my food and water which is really bad now i mean being at war has not been uh profitable 
one bit. I guess we have to try and steal it from other armies then and actually visit like f these fish towns and stuff to uh, to grab up food as best as we can. Got a pretty juicy 69 barrels from uh, from that town right there, which is good. Uh, we're also going to help out here. Mainly, I'm just helping out in these battles now so that I could actually obtain more food. Hey, we might actually have to start eating our prisoners because we've got a lot of those. Do you guys have any food? Yeah, we'll take the cow. I mean, I'll take all of this, basically. Okay, we must have pushed back enough of their armies now. They still have that big old 1500 stack moving around. Uh, we could also take that back to Garter. I want to just go deep into their territory, though, and start taking a lot more of their, their castles without too many uh, assaults. I mean, yeah, as long as they don't siege that castle again and it can build up a bit of a militia, that's great. They have 666 six, six defenders here. Let's besiege it. Um, this will probably just be a quick siege. I'm, I, I, again, I always do want to build ladders and stuff, but we do know that they have a 1,500-man army roaming around. Uh, so, yeah, taking things slow and steady is probably just... Oh, sorry, taking things fast before our army can react is, is the way to go. I mean, realistically, I don't even know if this battle is, is worth fighting. I mean, it is. It's a major city, so we will fight it. But Bands of Powerball, we could have quite easily have just auto-resolved that one. A glorious city to behold. One that will be the jewel of my empire. This is actually also a very, very rich Imperium city. So taking this away from them should really hamper the amount of soldiers that they can produce in, in battles. It just kind of sucks that we don't have more like equipment to siege it. But it just does take a long time in Banner Kings. Which I guess we're going to have to just kind of live with. Uh, and you, you kind of have to take these the old fashioned way. I wonder if we can even get up this ladder quick enough before they all... I mean they're on their way but I might be able to sneak my way up here and then get off to the left hit him around the face give him a good old little love tap and then make my way up here uh, if we can kind of fortify this position i can really just shoot down and help the boys out as the battle does uh, unfold we also have fire arrows as well which is good so yeah let's, let's just utilize this unless i get kind of jumped from behind there's a few boys oh my god that did a lot of damage oh, okay okay we're, we're we're playing way safe of them i did 40 damage to me i think i just took a javelin to the chest there's no one up here, right? Yeah, I I'm pulling way back. Remember, if we die, the campaign is over. So I'm going to take that, and we're going to fall all the way back here. I'm going to try and pick up a few of these guys who are a little bit closer to me. And I'm just going to let the boys do their thing. I, I don't want to do anything crazy. I want to make sure that I'm fortified from enemy missile fire. I'm going to help out as best as I can. My bodyguards seemingly are coming towards me as well, which is nice. Try oh, okay, 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 good. I needed two damage. Good, good, good. Let's maybe fall back a little bit. Fire up a shot down there. 50 damage. Nice. Some good uh, good assault positions. Yeah, wow. That, that really shook me. You can also see the assault on the other side as well. Just help out as best as we can. We also have a couple javelins being lobbed our way. Okay, a little bit lower there. Yeah, I can see that archer trying to hit me. Ooh, 200 damage. That must have been a good headshot. Yeah, that archer right there is trying to take pot shots. Way lower though. Okay, I think for the most part, we're good to go back down now. Um, I think we're, we're a bit safe. Our OMG have chewed through most of the good units they have to offer. So let's see if we can, we can add some help to the position now. This is probably much safer, and I can get a much better kind of angle on these battles. I mean, they're still pushing them there. They pretty much push them off the walls now, so we've secured this. Yeah, there's a lot of just militia units here now. Yeah, they're trying to push up. I'll try and maybe help out here with some of the harder units. There are still definitely some lords and ladies set up again. Just check my back. Make sure no one's shooting me here as well. Can maybe try a pretty healthy shot on that ballista. Not successful. Yeah, they are still pushing up, but our bow is acting as a pretty valuable tool here. Oh, it doesn't seem like we can... Oh, no, we can. Cool. I was just checking. For some reason, it wasn't letting me grab the arrows there, but now it does. Cool. It's definitely focused down. Even if it's just 18 damage, we definitely... I definitely want to focus down these elite soldiers because they have the capability of killing me. Again, I could also just maybe be resolute in killing all the weak units as well because the quicker they get taken down, the quicker my boys can move up and deal with the other soldiers. Uh, it looks like we've, we've completely dominated the other side of the, uh, the map and infantry will be roaming around here from the other side. Yeah, you can see the walls have already been being taken, uh, which is great news. On a scale of 1 to 10, how angry would you, would, would you guys be if I killed myself jumping off of the uh of the battlements because i almost just did that hopefully you guys would understand uh but again if, if we if we die like that we die like that i am resolute in this decision i am resolute kill wise as you guys can see uh our retinue great swords 126 kills they're just perfect they're perfect for these sieges where they can utilize that the nice thing is we lost like 20 men but we can just 
resupply them from the elite soldiers here. Nice. This is a city that would actually be a good jewel of my empire. So I'm going to take this one. Not that we really need any of the uh, support. Uh, and then please, please give me all your water and food. I need it. They have a lot of hogs here. So we'll take the hogs. That should boost my food supply up. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to probably have to rest here a little bit. No good soldiers here. That's fine. I guess we'll take a little bit of a break from fighting. Um, and take a look at our dimension management here. So we have, we'll, we'll apply a low tax policy. Uh, criminals will be forgiven so that we get more population. Uh, we will exempt people from tariffs here and encourage mercantilism. So that will lower our taxes, but that's fine. Uh, I want people to focus on uh, probably land expansion, right? We have a lot of acreage. Um, and it is being utilized. Yeah, available workforce and our workforce saturation. So let's maybe expand to kind of get this number down a little bit. And then with our forgiveness of criminals and everything else that should help out, here is fine. And drafting policy will be conscripting um, and enlisting right there. Good. So that should help to boost that stuff up. Then if we actually just take a look at the town itself, we want to apply it. One of the governors here. Yeah, he, one of these gang leaders seems good. He will rule through crime. Uh, we'll give him a bunch of money to help out there. Definitely work on culturally assimilating the settlement immediately. Uh, the courthouse is also probably a pretty good building. Uh, and then we want to want to probably work on better walls as well. That should take, what, five days? And then that should be pretty quick. I mean, it's almost done, right? Then maybe go on market. I mean, marketplaces, we just don't need them at this point. We have so much money. Um, but I guess we'll do that. Uh, and then anything else that gives them more bonuses? Uh, I guess something like a siege works would be good. Kind of grid anything else. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll, we'll focus on culturally assimilating that as quickly as we possibly can. Um, so yeah, let's just wait a little bit, replenish our army. Uh, I mean, we do need to go out and find more water. And then, yeah, on to the next settlement. So the question is, should we march on Zeneca? Zeneca is obviously the, uh, the bastion of the Western Empire. It's their capital, probably one of the richest cities in the game. And I'm pretty tempted just to do that. Yeah, let's... Let's head our way down there. We obviously have to be a little bit cautious of them maybe sieging us out there. We also have to be very aware that we need water and we can't stray too far from cities. So we'll, we'll make our way around buying it as we go. Um, again, they, they could just siege that. We only have a 16-man garrison. But I'm hoping they're all going to be busy here. Uh, they're going to go siege it. I can already, already see they're going to go back and siege it. So we're going to wait. We're going to try and catch a couple of their armies again. Like he, until the garrison builds up, we can't really... Oh, no. He's, okay, he's not. Okay, that's fine. And the garrison is building up pretty fast. We're up to 29 already, which is actually very good. Um, again, we can always, I guess, break the siege of Zeneca. But yeah, let's do it. Let's take Zeneca. That's going to be a massive help if we take this city. Uh, again, it has 700 defenders. Yep, okay, no, they, they already siege us, as I expected. Let's head back and deal with that. Ow, and they already took it. They had a 2,000-man army. Okay, let's see if this will work. I'm going to drop a save here. Let's try one last time to fight this army. If it doesn't work, there's clearly some units in this army that are just causing the game to crash uh, and just not render properly, which is, you know, fine. We just have to avoid fighting this army uh, as best as we can. I mean, to be fair as well, like, maybe we could actually auto-resolve it uh, if we grab a couple more soldiers or something. Uh, but I want to I at least try and attempt to fight it one more time. Yeah, no, unfortunately, it gets to the point where the game, like, does load. Like, I can hear the sounds, but as soon as that happens, uh, the, the game, unfortunately... Uh, does just like go crazy and just yeah stops working it like maxes out my cpu if anybody has a good suggestion for a fix of that please do send it my way i mean maybe it's these northern liberators causing the crash they just left the army uh i mean i'm i'm i'm, I'm interested Let, let's test it out let's have a save interestingly i can fight the army and when these guys aren't in it i can actually get into battle but then it immediately crashes so i don't really know what's up with that uh maybe we'll try piecing them out or something i'm just gonna say screw it we're gonna go siege Zeneca. we're gonna let that army probably take this from me and we'll, we'll wrap around it's kind of funny how i just can't fight like the big army that's roaming around my lands taking it also they've just all of a sudden got 1300 men here as well they are uh, starving? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of stray uh, revolutionaries, though. That's fine. Um, uh, again, hopefully the army doesn't come back to try and stop me, because that would suck, because, again, I can't fight it. But if we take Zeneca, I okay, we're just going to leave the assault here. Uh, I've been recording for about three hours now, which is receiving so many crashes. Uh, hopefully, we can still continue to play and make it through this, and I just have to work around. It just takes me a bit more time, so I do apologize if this episode's a bit shorter. I have literally been recording for two and a half hours right now, and I think only about 30 minutes of this footage is going to be usable, which is, yeah, pretty frustrating. 
Hopefully, we can pull. For a second, I thought that battle was not going to load, and I was not going to be happy. Uh, again, it, it's such a shame as well, because I would really love to have defeated that big army, I and mean, then we could take our time with these battles. I could actually utilize the siege equipment a bit more, and kind of just have some more fun that way. Also, look how cool this settlement is. It's a pretty kind of narrow one, but I like it. I like these, these settlements. They look very, very cool. I also feel like, as well, our armor has gotten like a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more orange than, than usual. I'm not complaining. It still looks cool, but uh, yeah, just interesting nonetheless. Let's see if we can help out a bit again. I need to make sure... Oh, wow, such a good shot. I need to make sure that I don't forget that we are um, that we are playing one life. And if I die, I die. So we just need to be very cautious. If we don't take like an arrow through the eye slits or anything else along them lines. Like not be the first one over the ladder all the time. Because I'm not going to lie. In the last siege battle, I was kind of, uh, yeah, completely... Uh, blanking the fact that we could just be, you know, have this campaign deleted. And as I said, I'm going to be 100% kind of uh, truthful and, and accurate with that. If we, if we go down, it's over. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. And I think it's just a good stake for the campaign to have it that way. Because, again, there's only so many things that can wound us. Um, and if I'm foolish enough to have that happen my way, then, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And I'm hoping I can be pretty safe. And I'm hoping... We can uh, still keep us pretty, uh, you know, pretty stocked up on HP. Uh, I, think, I think the only, like, situation that's going to be pretty bad is say we run into a situation where we just fought a battle and maybe I took some damage uh, and then we maybe need to, like, heal but we don't get the opportunity to because there's another enemy army there and we have to turn around and deal with that. Uh, I'm going to head my way over here, see if there's anyone in these little arrow slits to take out. I think there's someone there. There's someone right there. We'll hit him for 61. And then finish him off with another little strike. But we're already through the gate. Okay. I mean, I'll follow the boys. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Can we get the gate back open? Ah, so unlucky. They, like, trapped us in there. How dare they? I mean, I'm hoping someone else can maybe get my gate open. We, we got a handful of boys in. But it seems like they're, they're struggling a little bit to... To make good use of that. Let's maybe get another little volley off right there. A little bit too low. We are actually taking casualties here as well. We've lost about 100 men so far. So they're picking up a good defense. I mean, I guess this is the, uh, the Western Empire capital. So it does make sense that they, they have such a staunch defense here. They've also been hitting some gnarly shots from here. Uh, unfortunately, not that one. Um, and we can't get any more volleys in. Yeah, I can't believe we didn't make our way in. I mean, it's probably for the best, though. Because if I was the person in there and I was locked in, I would have had to have played so defensive there. I think it's time, though. We'll keep that shield off to our left, kind of stopping any incoming fire. Try and avoid any shots from there. And I think the boys have done a good enough job. Uh, again, though, we are, we are losing men. With that, we've lost, what, you know, over 125 men. And we still haven't broken our way through yet. Okay, we've got a little bit of a defense here, mainly on this right-hand side. Let's see if I can, I can push my way through. Get over here. And help out. Yeah, we've broken down there. Let's let's head down the stairs. Uh, yeah, you guys are friendly as well. We we through the gate now. I think we're through the gate. Okay. Then let's maybe clear up, and then we can utilize the high ground to fire some more shots down. Make sure these artillery pieces aren't shooting. I actually don't think they managed to get many of them artillery pieces shooting at all. Well, I think I've just I think I've just shook the uh, the bees nest there. They're all looking my way now. Let's avoid that. Good shot there. Through my bodyguards as well. Got my back. Have we cleared that out? Yeah, we have. Also, we need to... Oh, my God. There's so many crossbows now. Yeah. Let's make sure we, we, when we draw our bow, we draw it back here. We're actually out of arrows now as well. Okay. And there you go. The energy's cleared out. The rest of the boys are, uh, yeah, finishing off the remnants. A pretty nice job. It's actually a shame you can't turn these catapults around, you know, and, and use them against the defenders. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool if they, like, defended that big kind of way to the keep and they actually had, like, soldiers in shield wall holding the line there. And then we could turn the catapult around and start bombarding the keep or something. Hey, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. But nice, that's Zeneca taken down. That's awesome. I'm a, I'm a real big fan of that. Uh, that's going to help us out massively. And we'll take the seven men. We did lose a lot of infantry in that battle. 10% melee reduction. We already have that. Yeah, we literally already have that. Okay, well, that's fine. Actually, no, no, no. I need, I do need to take food. I have no food. Come on. Hopefully, they have some food in the market. We will show mercy. Uh, I'm not going to take Zeneca because I think the the land will... Sorry, the garrison will replenish quicker if I don't. Yeah, they have a lot of food here. Or at least 
a decent amount of food and we'll take the chickens and the sheep uh, that'll keep us stocked up um which is good and now we i guess yeah just have to kind of wait for the garrison to, to stop them. i would love to end this episode with uh this settlement being taken as well that'd be just huge so i'm gonna probably head back and try and claim back quickly enough um but we will have to see if we're successful yeah, and there is that super scary army is coming back. A lot of them are breaking apart as well. So let's try and siege this settlement and get it siege before that army can reach there. And then we can peace out and then we'll have uh, the line uh, against the Northern Empire. We have just got to hope that we can build a siege camp faster than the AI can build a siege camp. Okay, nice. We managed to do that. We can just send in forces here. We don't need to fight this battle again, uh, which is good. Oh, they have a lot of reinforcements uh, here. Anything good? I mean, the Valandian cavalry is decent. Not that we really utilize it. The heroic axeman is decent enough. It's mainly a bunch of crappy units. We should take them, though, and just stick them in the garrison uh, to help buff them out. However, I think I am going to peace out uh, with the uh, with the Empire anyway. Because like, if I can't fight their army, like, what's the, what's the point? What's the point of engaging them uh, if we can't then fight them? Uh, I should definitely try and do that as well. Just engage... Uh, the forces i'll take this back as well uh, okay let's let's peace out with them before they are able to take zeneca um and then that should be them done again they'll be paying me actually only 1500 gold which actually isn't that much and nice boom now we're just at war of sturgeon and the western empire i might honestly peace out with the southern empire uh, but they're a good faction to fight now that we own zeneca uh we can continue to yeah i mean we're basically bordering them uh, we can we can move in and maybe take like this and a couple other settlements uh, and continue for war. Hopefully we have no problems there. I would like to go north uh, and maybe take a bunch of these settlements up here as well. But hey, not a bad episode. We, we we took this castle back. We took two of the main settlements. I would have loved to have taken the island settlement. It just wasn't to be, unfortunately. So yeah, that's what we're gonna wrap up the episode. Sorry about this if this is a bit short and a bit sporadic. We had a bunch of crashes today that couldn't really be avoided. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. If you are still enjoying this series though, please do drop a like and a comment down below. It really helps out the channel and goes a long way. And I'll see you guys in the next one.